So I have to ask you a question about someone who's in the biomedical or the bio industry. Okay, yeah, okay. Is it harder or easier to do these kinds of startups in China and in Hong Kong than it is in the West? Or is it just as rigorous and just as difficult? Mm. It's basically easier in Hong Kong and in China nowadays. Mm. It's unexpectedly well, easier because we have more opportunity. Because if you talk about a global market, no matter if it's in China, Hong Kong, or the US, UK, mm. continental Europe, as a whole, it's just the same market in the. If you have a good product in biomedicine, normally you can yeah, go through this CFDA in China, FDA in the US. Mm -hmm. And if you have the FDA in the US, certainly you can bring the product to elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So basically, we only have one market. But where to start up? Yeah. Okay, where to start up? That's the question. In Hong Kong and in China, because the government and the uh, and the corporation, the PE and VC, actually give it, giving a lot of support and money nowadays. Mm. Unlike US, probably US is a really good place for start, but mm. there's too many now. Mm. And you have to struggle for funding mm. and struggle po for professionals, struggle for places. Yeah. And that's why it turned out to be easier in Hong Kong and in okay. China. So there's, there's some white space here. You can kind of go and opportunities are here. Yeah. Basically, you may say, okay, let's say my company is in Sign Park. And what we know is that, oh, Sign Park is actually going to promote Hong Kong yeah. as a hub for biotech startup. They go everywhere and pull the technology company professor to Hong Kong uh -huh. and have their stop here. And the government and also for side part, they pay money and spaces, mm -hmm. every support. So yeah. Hong Kong is getting to be a better place mm. for pulling in different kinds of technology. So let me, let me ask then, because yeah. I don't know very much about starting a startup in a biomedical field. Mm. Do you go after customers first or do you have to spend most of your time really working on the product? Because I know when you're doing a commercial yeah. or a retail startup, it's all about getting the traction and the consumers yeah. as many as you can. Is it any different in okay. that field? Bauta is very different, uh, as yeah. you know, it's very different, but how different, okay? Mm. So, let's say if you're in app, you, you, you you're in touch with the customer. But in Bauta, it's a really wide spectrum. It, it really depends on what kind of technology that you have. Mm. Let's say for, uh, for, simplicity, for simplicity, let's say uh, you're having some diagnostic device. Then for that kind of thing, you have to in touch with the customer, probably or in touch with the hospital, and they have to trial with you, and then you can sell the product in a retail store to the customer. But in the most of the startup in Hong Kong or in China is not working on that. Mm. For us, let's say we work on some really early stage R and D, and we try to uh, finish the proof of concept, and we try to uh, enter the uh, application of the FDA or CFDA, mm. and then we try to do M and A or sell our product or license our product oh, to, to other companies. Company. Yes, yeah, exactly. Because if you talk about uh, a big business like that, it's a billion dollar, US dollar business. Yeah. And as a startup, we don't have money to do that, certainly. Mm. But what you have to do is to keep in touch with those partners, long-term partners, mm -hmm. where they are, let's say, big pharmaceutical company, big medical device company, where they will try to help you Got to it. develop your own idea. So then when you're building a company like this, mm. what types of roles are you trying to fill to make sure that you can grow like that? Okay, for me, okay, uh, basically, yeah, you know, uh, I'm PhD in mm -hmm. whatever medical device and biomaterials. But on the other hand, we should know that we cannot focus just on research. Mm -hmm. We have seen a lot of startup, uh, medical startup, which actually focus on research, solely on research. And at the end, it turned out to be quite uh, not, not so good because mm -hmm. business is a main focus. In biotech startup, we need cash flow. We need, we, we need a lot of cash. We so need a lot of investment. So it's sales. Basically, you need sales and marketing um, people. No? Basically, yes, you may say so. Yeah, I'm yeah. a good sales. You have to sell to VC, investor, PE, mm -hmm. in different, different time frame. Let's say, at first, you sell it to angels. After mm -hmm. one year, you have to in touch with VC, where they will be, let's say, put it into the waiting list mm -hmm. and look after you for the few years' time and mm -hmm. see where they will put a big money in you. Mm -hmm. So what I am doing is gathering all the ideas execute the plan, and then try to sell this plan to a bigger investor, mm. such that they will put the money in my project, and I use the money to execute the project. The, the plan, yeah. Yes. Well, I wish you luck. Yeah. It's, a, it's a difficult field to be in, but your PhD and your background should, should give you some success. Yeah, yeah hopefully I have a PhD in my team. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good, thank you very much. Thank you, see you.